Hello everyone, this is Corey Cook with King's ITS with another informative video on using tools within OWL. Today I'd like to talk to you about creating a question pool and then creating tests or quizzes with that question pool and randomizing questions that are drawn from that pool. So what is a question pool, you may ask? Well, it is a set of questions that belongs to you, not the work site, um, which means that you can use it within uh, all of the sites within your, um, within your domain. Uh, question pools can be shared with others or can be shared with you. Um, if you set up a question pool with an ass assortment of questions on a particular topic, it makes creating assessments very easy. You can pull questions from your pools and also from the pools that have been shared with you. Uh, question pools also serve as the basis for random draw questions, uh, pardon me, random draw assessments. You can have, say, uh, 50 questions within the pool and choose to draw any number of those questions at random for each student so that no two tests are alike. All right, let's get started. So within OWL, you'll go to your site and then uh, at the bottom left, you'll see what tests and quizzes and we will click on that. Um, then you will click on question pools at the top of the page. And you will click add a new pool to create a new pool. Uh, you will give that uh, pool a name uh, and add any other information that you like here and then click save. I'm not going to do that because I've already created a pool. Then as you create questions within the assessment builder, you can add them to any of the pools that you have created. So for example, let's go to tests and quizzes and I will um, create a new assessment using the assessment builder. Let's call this one test. And I will create a new question. And you'll see as I create this question, towards the bottom of the page, you can see where it says assigned to question pool here. So in this case, I've got the master pool and I can choose to add this question to my master pool, my master question pool. All right, so that's one way that you can add questions to the question pool. If you have already created an assessment, you can add all of the questions within that assessment to the question pool. And I'll show you this. I'll show you how to do that now. Um, so if we go to edit on our, within the assessment that we've already created, you can then see at the top right here, copy to pool. So I can add all of these questions to my question pool. And of course, I only have one pool created, so it's asking me which pool I would like to add these questions to. I will say the master pool. And so I'll say copy. And now all of those questions are now within my question pool. And I can show you that. I'll go back to question pools here. And here is my master pool. And you see I've got 10 questions within my question pool. And I'll click on that. And I'll show you all of the questions that are in my question pool. Additionally, you can add questions to an assessment from the question pool by choosing that option within the assessment builder when you're choosing which type of question to add. So let's go back here and I'll open up this, uh, this question or this assessment that I've just created. And I will add a question and you'll see here I can copy from question pool. So let's do that. And obviously the master pool is the only pool I have. So I will click there. And now I can choose any of these questions and add them to my assessment. Or I can choose all of them if I want to. And so there, I've just created this, I've just added this question from the question pool to this new assessment that I'm working on. If you would like to create a random draw assessment using a question pool, you can do so by creating a new assessment from scratch and adding a new part. So I'm going to show you that now. Let's create a new assessment using the assessment builder. We'll call this one test number two. Now, when you're creating a new part, um, or pardon me, a new assessment, it, it does not allow you to uh, right away create a random draw assessment. 
first you need to click on add part. Give this part a title, which I'm just going to leave as default because you'll notice the part titles of default will not be visible to assessment takers. And since I've already given this assessment a title, I'm not going to worry about giving this, this part a title. Scroll down and you'll see here, random draw from question pool. So I'm gonna click on that, which changes the page a little bit and allows you to draw a, a number of questions from, from your question pool. So you can see here, I've got my 10 questions within my master pool. I'm going to choose to draw, let's say six at random from that master pool. Now I'm going to save that. Oh, I need to, I, additionally, uh, you need to identify how many points each question will be worth. This can override the uh, point valuation that you've provided on a per question basis when creating uh, the questions within the question pool. For our purposes, I'm just going to say one. And we'll say, click on save. And so now I've created this part two uh, part of my assessment, and you'll see it's a random draw from the master pool. Now, this is a little bit odd, but you'll see I, can, I cannot remove part one, even though I have no questions within part one. In order to do so, you need to change the order of, um, of, these, of these parts, and I'll show you how to do that. So now you'll see here I've got part one and part two. I'm going to change part one to part two, and I'm going to change part two to part one, and I'm going to click on update order. And once that's done, I can then remove the, the empty part of this assessment. And so now I've created this assessment. Um, it has one part. I've chosen to draw six questions from my master pool. And now when I go back to tests and quizzes, I can see this, this is the test here and I can go and edit the, the settings of this, um, of this assessment um, before, I, uh, before I publish it to my students and allow my students to start taking this assessment. I hope this has been helpful. Again, if you ever need assistance with any of this, um, with anything within OWL, um, uh, you can always reach Kings ITS at kings.uwo.ca slash ITS. And the quickest and most efficient way to receive assistance is to fill out the ITS work request form, which you will see here. Um, again, I'm Corey. Have a great day.